Right guys, I needed to make this video because I didn't want to make the video but I need to tell you guys like something that I've been keeping back and I talk about transparency, I talk about telling you guys everything and not keeping anything from you guys and this time I've messed up like I've, I've kept one of my biggest secrets and it's not just a secret, it is actually really, really bad and I don't want to be renowned for it and honestly, I've cheated. Like, I don't know how to say this. And I just hope you guys aren't mad at me and I want to tell you guys that, like, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. Like, I've always been with Monster. I've, I've always been with Monster. I've, I've always had white, purple, even yellow sometimes. And this time, I've cheated. I've cheated on the monster. And this this little old friend is called 3D. I, I didn't think I'd do it. I never thought I'd do it. I never. Oh, I cheated, guys. What's going on guys, Mac White here. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I know I am. I've had my fresh fade for the weekend. I've also been to town and I've done all the errands that's needed to be done so I don't have to think about them anymore. And in today's video, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I don't know what the game plan is. We're just gonna roll with it. We're vlogging as usual. That's what I love to do. So I thought I'd just pick up the camera, make some content. So like the video, it is episode 11 of the Summer Shred. Time is going so, so fast. It is currently Thursday the 25th of April. So we we're nearly getting into May, nearly getting into summer, so I cannot wait for that. So leave the video a like if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into the video. Right guys, so I'm just chilling before the gym and it feels so, so good to be back in my bedroom. Like literally, I left my Xbox One downstairs in the conservatory, which is like literally the coldest room in the house. I don't even know why I've got that light on. And it's literally been down there for months. Like literally, it's been there for months. And it's literally been down... And it's literally been down there for months. It's been down there since me and Alex made that Domino's pizza challenge about three months ago. So yeah, I'm back in my room. I've got the set up back. I've got my MacBook on deck. I'm literally back in my own bed because I was sleeping in my sister's bed because she's gone to uni. So I was using her double bed and it was so, so comfy. It's not like it's not still comfy, but I just want to be back in my own bed. And not just that, I've got my Xbox 360 so I can play some Black Ops 2. And I've also got my Xbox One down there. I'm playing Black Ops 2 and playing all the CODs, MW2, all the OG CODs. And literally, I remember when I used to rush home from school and play for literally 10 hours a day and I would not move out from my bedroom. Like, they were the days when I didn't have to do anything. I wasn't bothered about doing anything. I wasn't thinking about when my next meal was. I wasn't thinking about going to the gym. All I was thinking about was going on my Xbox. And now how times have changed. I'm going to the gym. I'm getting my nutrition on point. I'm having enough water and stuff because I wouldn't even drink back then. And like, now it's so, so much better. But they was honestly the days for just relaxing and not giving a shit. Right, so I'm currently in my porch, which is really, really strange. But literally, that's the only good mirror in the house. So I'm going to show you a physique update because I haven't shown you since day one and it's now nearly four weeks in. So I think I should show you what I'm looking like because, you know, I don't want to show you every single day because then that takes kind of like the novelty of seeing the changes. I just feel like if I've shown you every single day my physique, it won't be as motivating, it won't be as inspiring. So I think I'm just going to show you guys every like three to four weeks. But now it's coming up to four weeks, I think it's time to show you. So this is the physique, literally. Like my abs are not coming in. My obliques are a little bit, I'd say. Arms are getting a lot, lot leaner. Shoulders and then actually legs. Like literally, oh my God, my legs. They, I've never seen my legs like that. I have never ever seen their muscles. Like I am so, so happy. I brought my legs up so, so much since last year. Last year, when I tried to get them lean, they was just skinny. But now, I don't know. I think I'm in a good place. Four weeks in. Ah! Right, so I've already had a monster, so I can't have this yet. But oh my God, I am so excited to try that. Christine Guzman's Drink Company, and I understand it can be biased because I absolutely freaking love him. But still, I'm gonna be as like neutral as possible. I'm gonna try it. I've already tried the red one and the blue one. They're really, really good. I wanna try the white one because obviously one of my favorite monsters is the normal original white one. And honestly, this could be a big, big contender. I wanna see what's better. If the monster is better than the 3D. So yeah, we've got the monster and the 3D. The monster and the freedom. Oh. And I 
I'm ready. Oh my god, I am sick. Literally took me two seconds to put a hoodie on. Like, what the hell? I mean, editing isn't even a thing these days. Right, so I'm gonna go to the gym. That's the plan of action. I've got my water bottle in my bag because I keep filling my water bottle up and then putting the size into so my intro workout and then it gets freaking warm when I get down to the gym. So I've got my water bottle, I'm gonna sip on that and then when I get to the gym, I'm gonna refill it with cold water and then put the size in like, oh my God, how did I think about that? Right, so we've got big chest, we've got big tries, we're gonna go to the gym now and um, we'll pretty much see you there. Right guys, we're at the gym now, so currently it's like, what, let me check, 20 past one in the afternoon, we're gonna smash the session, we've got chest, triceps, bit of abs, and then I've got cardio, 35 minutes to be exact, like I said before. So yeah, we're just gonna make it happen, get a really sick pump, and just try our best, like, honestly, my energy levels are amazing right now. I had my porridge and stuff in the morning, so I'm really energetic, I'm really feeling full and stuff. So I'm ready to smash a really sick session. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna put our all into it. Every single session is gonna be that way. Whether we're tired, whether we feel lethargic, whether we don't wanna train, we're getting in, we stick in to the plan. We've got what, eight weeks left literally. So we're just gonna put everything on the line, smash a sick session. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're using the 30s. We're going as heavy as possible for three sets. And then after that, we're gonna do a deload set and get more volume in. So you wanna stay as heavy as possible when you're putting down. Don't just jump to 15 to 20 reps. You know, you wanna be getting your heavy movements in, like your flat, you know, barbell presses, your flat dumbbell presses, and you wanna be doing them as heavy as possible. instead of the barbell we use dumbbells should I say 32 kilograms so I'm keeping it as heavy as possible just completed that three sets of that now on to incline um, barbell press we never do this so like this is about exposing our weaknesses getting better getting stronger at lifts that we don't do so just trying to change things up becoming as versatile as possible so we're gonna do high volume on this get 12 to 15 reps let's get a sick pump man Honestly, this exercise is hard as anything. So we've got 15 kg either side, and it's ridiculous. If you don't play your elbows, you keep them tucked in, you come all the way down, and you don't press it off your chest, because that will even be compensating strength. If you actually bring it just above your chest, keep all like tension on the upper chest, you're gonna feel an incredible burn. Like doing it right instead of just loading the weight up, doing it incorrectly, you're not gonna get much out of it. So with this, bring it above your chest, keep all the emphasis on the chest. Right, so now we're moving on to triceps. Chest is fully done. Um, finished off with the cable flies. As always, I like to go to like 10 to 15 reps now. So the high range, get loads of volume in and stretch the chest in comparison to like your flat benches and your incline number presses. Um, they're just gonna put a lot of emphasis on your chest. They're gonna, you know, get your chest bigger, get the strength and that, but then the cables, they're just like that extra push, the extra fire. And then that's gonna get your mad stretch on the chest and mad stretch on the rib cage, just to broaden yourself outwards. So yeah, moving on to triceps and doing a skull crusher variation. I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing and then I'll explain it. Just gonna get it up. We're gonna bring it as a skull crusher behind our head. Bring it back to our chest and just press it. So it's a different variation. Instead of pressing it outwards like that, no. We're gonna come back to our chest and press. <laughs> exercise keep your elbows tucked in at all times and that's what's going to put the most amount of emphasis on the triceps so it's like a bench press with that end movement so you know you're getting a lot of benefits from your chest as well and obviously your shoulders because all your pressing movements are from that but a lot of emphasis is on the triceps as you go back so as in you're doing a skull crusher so go back don't press outwards bring it back to chest and then press 
honestly what a session that's been chest triceps abs and now 35 minutes of cardio so yeah i think it burns now around 400 calories because it's on the incline but it's really really good really really good method of cardio but i am definitely going to do a video on cardio a video on intermittent fasting so yeah there's going to be different videos different topics and then obviously different ramps and stuff each video um, but yeah we're only getting started 35 minutes of cardio let's smash it my battery's literally going to die i don't even know how it's still like running um, but honestly like that was crazy mentally just battled that out like it's not that I didn't want to do it but it was just really really tough at the end and it's not that it's hard it's just sweaty and it's just the lighting I get dizzy and stuff but it is what it is we get it done we move forward and we go on to the next session and it's absolutely chucking it down outside like 20 minutes of walking in that on top of the session on top of the cardio just kills it but do you know what you got to be grateful for what you have and you know some people as cliche as it sounds as cringe as it sounds some people can't even walk home from a gym some people can't afford a gym some people can't even you know they don't have the resources for it so i feel like you know this prep i just want to be as mindful as possible and you know do everything with 100 percent effort and just realize that i am very lucky you know we all are very lucky everyone who's watching this with technology and stuff you know i don't know we just i'm running on again but i just think we're really really lucky and that's what's going to motivate me so yeah i need to get home 20 minutes walking in that weather it's literally hailstoning what is life? Right guys, the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna try. Woo! The 3D, alright? The free freaking D. Six carbs, five no 15 calories, what the hell? Yeah, pretty decent. White one. I don't know what flavour this is. I think it's just like the monster, the white monster. So I'm gonna try it and then compare it. So do not be mad at me if I say this is better because honestly, a lot of people watching this, well not a lot of people, about 100 people. Uh, but you hundred peasants, you know how much I love Monster. So I'm gonna be as, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be biased because I love Christine Guzman. I'm gonna try my best and be fair. So yeah, let's crack it open. Pretty sick already, mate. Like pretty sick already. Look at that. Any designs? No designs. But yeah, um, black kind of lid thing. Right, let's give it a go. Mmm. Freaking dropped it. That's that's weird. That is weird. I can officially say it's good. It's like lemonade. But is it better than Monster? No! No, 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 no. It's not. It's not. It's not better than Monster. That is nowhere near better than Monster. Like, freaking hell, Christian. What the hell? It's good, but... No way. My Monster's too good. Um, so, yeah. We've now established that I have cheated on Monster, but have I betrayed them because have I, have I, have I made it worse? Have I, I mean, obviously, if people see this video and they see that I say that that's better, you know, no one's going to buy Monsters and they're going to lose on millions of pounds because obviously millions of people watch my videos. So, to be fair, it's not as good as Monster. There you go, I said it, tried it. Going from the gym, as you can tell, chilling, doing a little bit of editing and also, then my feet, you don't want to see them. And also, Xbox is on. So, I'm back on it. I'm back on the grind, literally. I just want to start playing again, just for fun. Like, every now and again, when I'm home, when I've done my cardio, when I've done my weight training, when I'm not at work and I've got time to spare, I just want to play zombies, I just want to play COD, I just want to sweat my ass off. And pretty much, I'm just going to chill and do all these different things because I can't be bothered. And before, this is really random. I don't know why I get these random thoughts. Before, the gym was so dead. Like, let's say there's a method where when it gets so packed, it's because literally there's loads of food out and there's, there's you know, they, let's just say there's two crappy looking apples, all right? And that's why there's loads of people in the gym. Well, today there was only the two crappy looking apples on the floor, all right? What the fuck are you talking about? And there was, there was no food. And that's why it was dead. So that's an analogy that we're all obviously like used to. So yeah, like I say, Pretty much just gonna chill, kick back. That's my third gulp. But yeah, I can confirm it's not about the monster. Right guys, so it's currently tea time. I haven't actually had anything to eat since like 10 o'clock this morning because that's when I had my porridge. 
and then ever since I've just been busy with gym and stuff and editing so pretty much this is the second meal of the day I missed out my dinner so I've got loads of calories to make up for which means I'm in a really really good place I've got about a thousand calories left so this is my second meal I've got a bit of broccoli just one serving and then 200 grams of couscous because I've actually not eaten literally any carbs and then 150 grams of protein well 150 grams of chicken should I say um, so yeah I don't even track my micronutrients because um, I just feel like it's not important. There's hardly any calories in, hardly any carbs in. It's just fibrous carbohydrates. Um, but I'm also going to have some of this um, Frank's hot sauce. The beauty of this sauce, because it's hot for me, like it's mild, but it's literally just like red hot for me. Because it's so hot, it also stunts appetite, because then afterwards, after I'll eat this, I'll just neck loads of water, because I'll need to, because it's that hot. So yeah, I'm going to dig into this, and then I'll be with you guys on the next course. Right guys, it's been a couple of hours since last spoke to you. It's currently 8 o'clock at night, and I've got two bananas, loads of porridge, and then protein powder, and 30 grams of peanut butter, and that doesn't even end up my day. Like, it's 8 o'clock, and I still have to have another meal after this. I still need to have 350 grams of ski yogurt with an extra scoop of protein powder just to get my protein in. Honestly, it is mad. I'm not even doing anything now. I'm just going to play some Xbox and wind down, so I'm going to end the video up here. Since I think it's a good way to end it, I think it's a good place to end it and I also think that it's my channel so I should end it. Like the video if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next episode.